It's turned out to be a very active night for many of us. We've got some pretty heavy rainfall actually falling in the Mount Vernon area. We've seen a few flashes of lightning on the sky cam as well. Most of the activity right now is focused off across the northern half of the viewing area. So that boundary that we've been talking about all week has started to push into the area and that's brought widespread rain and thunderstorms across some of our north and western counties across southern Illinois and back off into southeastern Missouri. Right now, lots of activity for those areas really along and north of Route 13. We have uh, some very heavy rainfall just north of Mount Vernon, extending down through parts of Williamson County, and then a pretty strong storm going to be making its way into Carbondale within the next couple of minutes. We've got some heavy rainfall, some lightning there, no severe storms on the board right now. But again, a very loud night. Those storms extend through Perry County and then back into Madison County in southeastern Missouri as well. So we have had some reports of some small pea sized hail in these storms. That's also something else to watch, but they have weakened a bit compared to what we were seeing earlier. So this is going to continue. The activity only gets more widespread by tomorrow. This is a look at what we're tracking. So that boundary sets up across the area. It's got the widespread rain and then that area of low pressure that's way back off into Texas will start to make its way towards our area by the time we get to tomorrow. So that'll keep the chances for rain and storms around and actually bring the chance for some strong to severe thunderstorms by the time we get into Friday afternoon. So that threat tracker bar will be jumping up even higher tomorrow we start to quiet down by the time we get into the weekend. So here's what we've got going on as far as timing it all out. This rain will start to push south and east through the overnight hours. So by about 6 a.m., we've got widespread rain across the entire viewing area. Depending on what time you're leaving for work tomorrow, you may just want to allow yourself an extra couple of minutes, limited visibilities, and of course some flooding issues, especially across the northern half of the area will be likely as we start the day Friday. That rain sticks around throughout the entire day. We may get brief breaks here and there in the rain where it may start to let up a little bit, but it will be intermittent all day long. Now the next round that we're going to keep a close eye on is by Friday evening, especially across our southern counties as that area of low pressure comes in. It'll bring a chance for some of those strong to severe thunderstorms across parts of southeastern Missouri into western Kentucky and down into northwest Tennessee until about midnight, and then we'll see that rain move east of the area. So again, a lot to track. The one thing that the entire viewing area has in common, three to five inches of rainfall expected through southern Illinois into southeastern Missouri, parts of western Kentucky and northwest Tennessee, an inch to three inches. So flooding going to be a big issue. Don't try to drive through any pooling water. Storm Track 3 app, always great to have on your smartphone. Of course, it's not just the flooding, but it's the severe storms. This is a look at the severe storm threat for tomorrow. We are talking an enhanced risk across parts of western Kentucky, back into southeastern Missouri and northwest Tennessee. A slight risk and into a marginal risk extends a bit further to south into uh, southern Illinois. Your threat tracker bar for tomorrow afternoon is going to be pretty high for the flooding. We're also tracking damaging winds, hail, and then that chance for some spin up tornadoes as well. So all the more reason to make sure you've got multiple ways to get alerts. Again, after we get through tomorrow by the weekend, we do start to finally quiet back down. Oh, that'll be such a relief. We it can will. get there. All right. Thank you, JC.